Reading from the book of Mark, chapter 11, verse 11 to 26, Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple courts. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree and leaf, he went to find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves, because it was not the season for figs. Then he said to the tree, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard him say it. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves, and would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And as he taught them, he said, Is it not written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations? But you have made it a den of robbers. The chief priests and the teachers of the law heard this and began looking for a way to kill him, for they feared him, because the whole crowd was amazed at his teaching. When evening came, Jesus and his disciples see went out of the city not in the morning. As they went along, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots. Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, the fig tree you cursed has withered. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, Go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Heavenly Father, in reflecting on the reading from Mark 11, 11 I am reminded of the profound lessons of faith, prayer, and forgiveness. As Jesus cleansed the temple and taught about the importance of sincere prayer, I humbly come before you, acknowledging my shortcomings and seeking your forgiveness, grace, and guidance. I ask for your presence to overturn anything within me that hinders my relationship with you. Cleanse my heart of impurities, self-righteousness, and anything that separates me from experiencing your presence fully. Grant me the strength to be authentic and to live a life of integrity that reflects your love and righteousness. Teach me the power of persistent and sincere prayer, reminding me that you hear and answer according to your perfect will. Help me to trust your timing and to hold unwavering faith, knowing that you are always with me. Lord, as Jesus taught about forgiveness, grant me the courage to release any bitterness, resentment, or unforgiveness that I hold towards others. Show me the transformative power of forgiveness, both in seeking forgiveness from others and extending forgiveness to those who have wronged me. Help me to reconcile and show compassion and love to others mirroring your forgiveness and grace. May my life bear the fruits of righteousness, displaying kindness, patience, gentleness, and self-control. Guide me to live a life that brings honor and glory to your name. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your mercy and the privilege of approaching you in prayer. Strengthen my faith, deepen my connection with you, and mold me into a vessel of your love and grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.